Okay, everybody, I thought I'd do a solar battery uh, review on my 22 Grand Design Momentum 21G. We just bought this in August, and I thought I'd show the batteries first here. I bought two 24 group 75 amp hour AGM batteries. I bought these off of Amazon, I think they're 160 bucks each. And I made these little brackets to lock it. Metal brackets from Home Depot, bend them over. So they got a lock on it. It's got the cover here that goes over the top. Thought I'd show those. Uh, so these are holding up pretty good, but I'm not able to do as much as I had hoped. So this will keep up fine with the refrigerator. The solar panel will uh, keep them charged. We got here yesterday about 10 a.m. And I didn't run the generator at all till this morning at about 7 I turned on the generator and I was down to 12.1 volts. We watched a movie for two hours last night. So it held up pretty good. So 12.1 volts is 60% roughly. And that's without running a generator. But we got here, of course, with a full charge. So let's go check out the solar panel. So here's the solar panel. It's a 175 watt Jimboni. Jaboni solar panel and it comes with an MPPT charge controller it's up in the front compartment here's my roof this does pretty good um, this is the only solar panel I have kept up pretty good yesterday we're out here at Quartzsite this is the first time we've ever got to try this out really well so let's go take a look at the app. So here's the app. It tells you which one to download for the controller. And let's see, so you can see my battery is at 12.1%, 12.1 volts. We're bringing in 18 volts on the solar panel, 13 watts. And we've been watching movies for a few hours, so it hasn't kept up. And we got a 12 volt refrigerator. So it looks like I'm gonna have to uh, upgrade the batteries if we wanna do much boondocking and watch movies like we like to do. So yesterday we got here with a full charge, watched a movie at about eight o'clock for two hours. Woke up this morning and the battery was at 12.1, which is where it's at right now. Started my generator at 7 this morning and charged it for an hour and then the sun came out and I've been on the solar panel the rest of the day so we're obviously behind. So I'm going to have to run the generator before we go to bed. Probably start that up around 6 o'clock and run it for a few hours. I guess I overestimated my batteries. Those are 75, 75 amp hours so that's 150 amp hours. You only use half that so... Yeah, that's a little disappointing, but if I just had the fridge going, that would be plenty. I'm trying to do too much. I watch the TV with an inverter. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that update because I know a lot of you are interested in how good that solar panel is. And I think it's working really well. Probably I might get a full charge here in a few hours from the sun, but it's already 2 o'clock, so it's starting to head down. So I'm obviously going to have to run the generator tonight. Probably no movie tonight. I wasn't keeping track of the battery. Watched two movies right now and uh, ran the battery down. Anyway, that's my update. So if you're going to upgrade your batteries and do a lot of boondocking, you're going to need more than what I got. That's 150 amp hours. You're going to need at least 200 if you're going to do other stuff other than the refrigerator, the 12 volt. And that has a night mode on it as well. So I turned that on at like, I think it was around 10 o'clock last night. And that runs for eight hours on night mode and then goes back to the regular setting. And I have it set on three on both the freezer and the refrigerator because it's kind of cool. I think we're getting close to 80 degrees today. But uh, anyway, that's my update on the generator. I know a lot of people are interested in that. So take it easy. See you later.